Hi there, I'm Construction Gamer. In today's episode of Midlands to London, we're going to be continuing with the Chilterns line. We're going to build it as far as Solly Hull, and I'm hoping as far as Warwick Parkway as well. Uh, should be able to get those done in this episode. In the last episode, we built this junction here around Teasley for the Chiltern services. I've got one currently operating just as far as Solly Hull, but it's not the final Solly Hull station. I just wanted to get uh, some services operating on the Chilterns line towards Birmingham. So the junction, I don't think I've done too much off camera. I've did a little bit with some bushes and whatnot. I put this brick, uh, this Commats factory in here, which is supposed to represent the Lafarge, Lafarge? Yeah, Lafarge uh, tarmac uh, facility. So I've put that in there just for a little bit of, a little bit of decoration as you're coming along here. I haven't done too much more other than put on Solihull Station and put on a service just basically from Solihull to Birmingham Snow Hill. Turning around and then heading back again, I've obviously I've got to finalise the services that are going to operate on this line eventually. So yeah, not much to say other than we're going to start building this line out towards Leamington Spa. So left, first things first, I think we'll build Solihull Station rebuild it rather so we're going to get rid of that building there just knock down all of this not a particularly fancy station by any means uh did i let's get rid of that as well don't need that we've got one of those yeah i think i just want to double check what what have i got to click on to bring up the industry buildings isn't it so yeah i was careful this time not to demolish too much of the industry i think i'll keep solihull where it is i think it's it's all right where it is and we're going to build, actually what we're going to build is a station. Yes, what a station. But what I wanted to use was these. Let's put on a King's Cross. Raise it up a little bit. Uh, no catenary, 120. Yes. Yeah, that should be fine. Number of tracks. No, don't need an underpass. High speed, no catenary. Raise it up a little bit. I'll show you why I'm doing that in a second now if we configure this and then go to go to what do, what do we actually go to passenger building possibly what's that why have you got squares are you the building that i want to use as well you are and you've got funny little oh you work right let's just place one of these and it works fantastic yeah we're going to be using this twice actually by the looks of it because solly hull is Pretty much, I'm pretty sure Solihull looks like this ish. Has like an un, a lower level concourse area. I'm just gonna double, no, not quite like this, but it, a bit like this. I'm just gonna double check it though. No, it was Warwick Parkway that I was thinking of. So we'll get rid of that and use that for Warwick Parkway. I haven't used this on this build yet, but we'll get rid of, well, we'll get rid of anything. We will configure, get rid of these platforms first of all. And then we will go, we'll go with King's Cross new, I think. It looks like a relatively newish platform arrangement. And uh, we'll chuck on a couple of segments. Do, or what should have found out as well, is if the... Oh, we'll put an extra platform on just in case the, the Chilton's mainline services stop here. Like the the, quick, the fast ones, not the all stopping services to uh, London Mar Marleybone. And then we're going to put on some tracks. That'd be useful, wouldn't it? So a couple of tracks. Down, nope, not down the middle. I'm going to get rid of these platforms again. It's definitely an island station. Let's try that again, shall we? Yeah, I've rushed my prepare my uh, preparation a little bit. I normally do a little bit of homework beforehand, but I'm kind of a bit of a time pressure. So, yeah, Let, let's try and build that, shall we? Good, that looks fine. Then we want some tracks down here. And that is pretty much it really. It's nothing nothing fancy, but we will be putting on something else as well. What we're going to be putting on is a platform on the north or east side, or whichever way you look at it, it's the north side, I think. So we're going to need a platform there. It's going to have to be King's Cross. Can't be an invisible one because that doesn't work with underpasses. So we'll chuck a King's Cross new, and then we'll chuck in some of the King's Cross underpasses on it like that. I think we'll have benches, may as well have the ticket machines on that side. And then actually, no, I don't think there are even, there isn't very much on this station at all. There's like one shelter or one covered area, something a bit like that. And that, that's pretty much it really, nothing fancy. So that's why I said we'd probably get two stations built in this episode. And then we're going to be built, putting in another, another, oh no, I've put ticket machines in there, haven't I? That's why I can't do that. 
let's try that again underpass and then we're going to put in a little bit of a building looks like quite an old looking building even though the platforms themselves look relatively modern so we'll chuck in just a modest building it's nothing grand but it does look on the older variety now that's that's very grand actually that's far too grand something a bit like that that's a bit more accurate i think and then there was something here yeah there's not like a great deal going on with solihull station but there was something i wanted to try and replicate and obviously we need to get those tracks connected up as well so i'll just wang those over to there yeah i think 98 that's should be fine even if the fast class 8 class 68 hold services aren't stopping here 107 i think i will no i won't take that i just want okay what we'll do bring it from here and then as soon as we get 80 yeah i think i'll take 80 and then what i wanted to do was put in a little bit of street around here so one two because we have raised the station up a little bit for once no three that hopefully is that low enough possibly let's have a look so oh, it is fantastic so we want a little bit of track heading off towards Leamington Spa sort of direction to about there and then what I wanted to do no I didn't want that for a start off I wanted a girder bridge so we'll make sure we put a girder bridge in something like that and then a second girder bridge with a speed of about 100 something a bit like that can I can I just go over there put that in yeah if we're going to do a li any sort of nod to Solihull I guess we should do that se two separate bridge arrangement that it seems to have got and then obviously we just need to do assets uh, one of those just one don't think we'll have any walls on this actually so we'll have no walls but we'll have two on there we'll have those level and then we want to do a what do we want to do a front no a rear front that's the one chuck one of them on about there we'll have those level and then we're going to do no cap one two three yeah one two three one two three should be deep enough i think yeah and then we'll do a rear just to make sure what oh no that's built on the wrong side one two three probably got to got away with four but we will keep it at that and then obviously we want a gray cap just to finish that off and then we want to do a front on that side just there that'll do the job why is it complaining about oh it's complaining about roads derby to kidderminster rugely to kidderminster yeah we'll, we'll deal with that later <laughs> i think we'll leave that as it is for now and we'll leave that as it is as well next thing we want to do is build this junction in i was in two minds i was either going to build hatton or warwick parkway and i think looking at it looking at the service is calling it warwick parkway i think that's got the more frequent services calling at it so we'll build that one instead hatton looked more interesting than warwick parkway but warwick parkway has more services calling at it so i think it's probably better to call build that and obviously it's a slightly bigger station i think if not as interesting as happened so we'll get that connected up to there and then no we'll do that track later on that's just plain line that's boring what we need to do is this junction first of all which goes towards uh, stratford upon avon so we're going to put a cord in here not sure if i'm concerned about how fast it is and then we want another cord coming over here again not really concerned too much about how fast it is but this is a single track which splits off into two by the looks of it and then heads off towards Stratford upon Avon. And then actually, I think I'll build this cord again into the straight into the side of that single track cord there. And then just that little bit there. So, yeah, this is where Hatton would be roughly about, but we haven't got space for like Hatton and Warwick Parkway as well. So, we'll build a little bit of track. Got another switch here. Yeah, I thought this might look like a siding, but it actually looks like it's three three tracks for a very short section because you've got like Hatton Parkway station and then you've got like a little bit of extra three tracks so we'll have a signal not signal switch another switch carry the second track and then we'll just have actually no we'll move these I think a bit closer to where Hatton would be so we've got after Hatton we'd have another switch there which doesn't really need to be 
too fast i don't think it's going to get used we're just putting it in and then another switch there again probably won't get used for anything and then a piece of track but this time we will make sure the switch is a little bit quick 70 we will take that's going to be just a down track isn't it i think although having said that no it's going to be bi-directional is it yeah it's, it would have to be wouldn't it if services are going to kind of come onto this bit so there must be another switch around here somewhere which isn't being mapped on open rail oh yes there is so it's shortly after this switch here there is a switch so this would so we'll make sure the turnout on that is reasonably quick yeah because the train's going to have to come down here and then switch onto this this would have to be a bi-directional track and then the train would have to uh, cross these two pieces of track which obviously is a great capacity eater right so we'll put that in there a little bit of track and then we want another building we'll go again with king's cross new this actually does warwick parkway looks like quite a modern station i think we'll do 160 just in case yeah we'll put that on there warwick parkway configure and then just get rid of the track put in some nice oh i can't because there's there's track connected to it figure bit of track down there we'll use king's cross new again which is all the way over there king's cross new and actually what i should have done is what i should have what i did with uh, solid hole let's just get rid of that track so we'll put this in again we'll raise this up a little bit no nope, maybe not there uh, where's the station where's Leamington spa it is there that looks all right but now the orientation of the track doesn't look right anymore let's try and get this lined up because we do want to maintain a reasonable speed track can i can you get up to there does it look rubbish no it looks all right i think we'll take that but before we do any of that we'll, we will configure this station uh, so we'll get get rid of the platforms first king's cross new and then we'll just chuck in a few bits of few bits of platform there and then obviously the track down the middle and then again not a particularly fancy building a uh, fancy station but we're gonna have things cross uh, we're gonna have some new shelters on that end and on that end and then we want an underpass now this is where i hope it's gonna work so underpass there that, that's about it i think now this is where i hope it works with the passenger, is it passenger building that i was in this one here the sunken one does it provide steps down now if i put one in on this side if i click on that is that giving us any indication as if there's oh there is is that yeah there's do i want the escalators there because people are just going to kind of magically appear aren't they maybe if i think what i will do is i'll move the entrance just so people i know we probably won't be looking at it in a, any great detail but just so it doesn't look like passengers are magically coming down through the floor which would look a little bit rubbish yeah i think we'll take that and then obviously we want to get some tracks in so this has got a bit of road so one two th two three a little bit of road at that end and then that's she no wants to be a bit oh no, no no it's fine what am i doing don't worry one two three a little bit of road and then a little bit of track with go to bridge why not possibly a little bit close to the station is it it certainly is let's just move this a tiny little bit just don't want the walls to be in the station because that wouldn't be right so one two three straight into there and then a little bit of road over the top something a bit like that as we open auto save okie dokie the auto saves taking longer and longer as this series progresses and uh, never mind let's put in our road this time we will have full skew but we want it to be a rear so yeah i think something like that let's just see so no walls no cap one two three oh that's fine and then we'll go we'll do a front one two three and then we want a gray cap with walls and then we want to do a no walls rear yeah that's right isn't it and then a front something a bit like that great on a little bit of a little bit of an angle there but not to worry 
and then we want to do something similar on this side but this time it wants to be a little bit big of a road one two three quite close to the station is it yeah not mega close to the station so i think we'll have it about here right and the next thing is we want to obviously put the track in where's Leamington spa it's about there that's fine keep it pointing that direction actually we'll have the bridge straight thank you very much and then there is is there a white bridge i don't think there is is there i think i might be tempted to use the the i'll be, I'll be using anything that's a collision i want to use the that one concrete no not concrete iron bridge it's not like a super modern concrete bridge but it's a, a bit more modern than a girder bridge otherwise would be and it looks a little bit unusual in that it doesn't have any things on the end so we're going to have stone grey so it looks a bit more modernish. I think we'll have it four wide. Can I do that? No. Right we'll have to do it this way then. Right so we put four tracks in and then we're going to go four wide with nothing at all and then we're just going to slide that into there and then that one as well just slide that underneath and then get rid of these bits of track like so just so this is right in the middle but it's not and then i think i want to put this road in the middle so one two three try and get this in the in the center a little bit more something like that like that it's more of a modern construction maybe 60s perhaps but it's not kind of like ultra modern so yeah that's that all looks fine now what we want to do is continue the, i don't know where this actually don't know where the a46 goes but it will go somewhere eventually we'll connect that on with something maybe if we connect this up with Leamington spa because maybe that'll stop it complaining about the road connections so we'll put that into there yeah we're not building like a super accurate motorway network or anything resembling a motorway a, an accurate motorway network but well, I'm saying that it's an a, it's a, an a road, not a motorway. But you know what I mean. Like the dual carriageways, motorways, and stuff like that. I'm just literally going to use the dual carriageway asset, and that's why it's complaining because I've severed that road. Let's just put a level crossing in there for now, and we'll fix that later on. Good. So that's into there, and then just delete those little bits of track. Want a little bit more curve, I think, but it doesn't want to be that slow. It wants to be a little bit quicker as we start to kind of curve in towards. Of Leamington Spa just about there good and then this little thingy of a bob here we need some streets and we'll just have I know actually we'll have no we won't we won't have that in the air like that we'll have a bit of road on the level or will we yeah yeah that's fine Looks a little bit odd from up there but no that looks fine make sure just snap that for now keep that on the level and then we'll just have a little bit of road coming off here or no we'll do it the other way around actually we'll do the terrain and then we'll just flatten that maybe not so big nope you're gonna flatten from from there i think you are sort of and then what we'll do is we'll fix that kind of glitchiness with a road hopefully so if we put a road alongside that's it that's flatten that with a little bit of terrain and then just straight into there and then we're going to have a flat bit of road and then another flat bit of road and then hopefully this is going to put a car park in here because it's a parkway so it needs a car park and then if i get rid of those that's actually it's actually not too bad i think i will take that don't know don't know if i'm going to build warwick or not because yeah just haven't decided yet if my computer can take me building any more towns or anything so i think we'll just leave that for now but what we'll do is we'll just smooth this terrain off and that's created water as it has there as well Let's smooth this off first and then we'll have to come back in with the flatten just to get rid of any water that's been generated yeah it looked as oh, i think it looked shallow enough to not generate water because i painted the green texture which obviously hasn't been replaced but obviously it's still a little bit a uh, little bit too low i wish there was some feature or some option in order to turn generate water off Think that would be handy i know it's great that you can generate water and stuff like that it is handy but at the same time it can be a little bit of a pain sometimes so i think what we'll do is we'll just finish this road off let's get rid of this old dirt track we're in we're in 2002 now we want some new road yeah so this road does actually go the a46 does indeed go to stratford upon avon so we will build this all the way down here nope not not like that though eh so stratford is 
happy now. We will just quickly upgrade this, pressing right shift just to own the first little bit of the road. And then we'll do the same, I think, with this little bit of road goes into Leamington Spa. Yeah, Leamington Spa is very, very close to Warwick. Obviously, it's not in real life. It's, there's a lot more separation. Maybe, perhaps, I will move Leamington Spa a little bit. No, I think, I think in hindsight, I will, I will take that. That's all fine. That's all connected up. And that looked like it was going to crash almost. And then this bit of road that I've built, we will finish this off. I think we will just upgrade this because this appears to go off towards Coventry. So we will make it do so. Like so, yeah, that is, it's a little bit too close, but I think it's all right, given the scale and everything. A few signals, a little bit of plane line. I think what I'll do, I might do a little bit of... What should I do? Now, I don't think I want to do a cab ride because I need to do a lot of detailing and that's going to take me a lot of time to make that look good. I think what I'll do is I'm going to do a little time lapse of me finishing Leamington Spa and that way, you know, we've done a significant amount of the Chilton's line then, haven't we? And at least then we can pass services, is, services, is, services is, into Leamington Spa itself, calling at Warwick Parkway and Solihull, which we've just finished. So I'm going to leave it there for today, leave you with a little bit of a time lapse of finishing the track off, not the detailing, we'll just finish some of the track off in the time lapse. But I'll leave it there for today and say until next time, bye bye.